Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at our set of cool headphones from Creative Labs, the Outlier One Plus. Okay, so this is a little bit different. This is a set of Bluetooth headphones, which you can use with your uh, mobile phone or tablet or whatever you choose to use. But there's something a little bit special that this does, which I'll come to in a minute. But first of all, let's see what we get actually in the box. So, you get a little carry pouch with accessories. So, earbuds. You can remove the ear wings and replace them with the standard type headsets. You get a charging cable, micro USB. You get a set of instructions. You get more instructions. And you get a, a guide on how to put these things together and how to use it. All very good. Although mostly it's pretty straightforward. So let's have a look at these uh, these headphones. It's pretty tight in there. So there we are, a very lightweight set of headphones. So they've got a really nice anti-tangle flat cable design. There's a sticker there, that's definitely gonna come off in the future. So here's the headphones themselves, pretty lightweight. There's a control module on the side. Now the control module has got something a little bit different about it. It's got a power button in the middle, which you hold and press to get it connected to your device. You've got volume up and down, but at the top you've got a music key. Now the music key is what makes this slightly different. Inside this little cool thing, there is four gigabytes of storage. So you can put MP3, FLAC audio, or WAV files on there to listen. So if you don't want your phone with you when you're working out or running or whatever it is you're doing, Say, for instance, you're going on a mountain bike and you don't really want your mobile phone clattering around in your back pocket or whatever, you can use this just with the pre-downloaded audio tracks and listen to your heart's content without having to worry about your expensive device. So that is a great feature. And obviously, if you do want to take music off your phone or stream music from your phone, you can just press the button again and it goes back into Bluetooth mode and you can listen to your music or take calls or whatever it may be with no problems whatsoever. So this thing I'm really surprised actually that no one else has done this before. It's got a really nice little charging port on the side for the USB cable to go in and also that acts as a data transfer port using the supplied cable. Again, it's micro USB so it's going to be pretty much compatible with any cables you've got lying around at home. Now you can actually also control this with an app. So there is an app available called um, Sound Blaster Connect which you can get from the Play Store. So just type in Outlier One Plus or uh, Sound Blaster Connect and there is a, a great little app which you can open up and it tells you the, about the music on your device, tells you other things like you can set up sources, your Sound Blaster experience, or you can set up your connection as well. So let's do this now. So connect to an audio device. So add device, and we wanna add the Creative Outlier One Plus. So it says press and hold the multi-function button, continue on the Bluetooth settings and connect to Outlier One Plus. So the button in the middle, just press and hold it, now you normally you press and hold it just to turn it on, but if you press and hold it and keep on pressing and holding it until it flashes rapidly, blue and red, then in your Bluetooth devices, there it goes straight away, Outlier One Plus. And that's it, we're connected. How simple is that? No pin codes, passcodes, anything like that. We're all good. So if we go back to the devices, in the dashboard, uh, you've got Bluetooth, MP3. So if you click MP3, you can play a demo music, which I think is probably coming through now. I actually, you probably won't want to pick that up, so let's turn that right up. I wonder if you can control the volume on the thing. Yes, you can. I wonder if that's copyright free. Here comes a copyright strike. Let's try these in.
they're actually really loud. And it does actually block out all the noise around you. I'm probably shouting too loud. It's surprising actually, it does block out a lot of the extra. I'm really impressed. The sound quality on that is fantastic. <coughs> so, Creative Labs Outlier One Plus, MP3 player, Bluetooth headset, all in one package. And at the moment, if you go to the Creative Labs website, you can get this on a, a special deal. They've got a little bit of a reduction. Normally retailing around about the 40 to 50 pound mark in the UK. At the moment, you can pick them up a little bit cheaper than that. So I'll leave the links in the description below so you can check out for yourself. But I'm actually really impressed. I think I'm gonna have to change the, uh, the silicon buds, which actually are really easy to do. They just pop off and you can change them from the set that's in there. So if you've got slightly bigger ears or slightly smaller ears, you can find the perfect fit for you. And if you don't like the whole kind of uh, wing thing, Again, you can just peel that off and you can put on a standard type head headpiece. Or head. I'm not even sure what you call those bits. What would you call those bits? So there you go, you've got the choice. So if you're doing really active stuff, you can have the wing bit, which kind of folds into your ear and holds it in, um, or you can just use the standard sort of type fit in with the, the right sized cushion and it should stay in your ear pretty well. Now I'm gonna charge this up, put some music on it and I'm gonna go for a, maybe a run maybe a fast walk in the park and we'll uh, see how it goes. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so that's enough silliness in the garden and uh, give time and calf to recover from her injury. So what do I think of the Creative Labs Outlier One Plus? Well, they're strong and they're resilient. Um, even without the, uh, the, it, the wings on them, didn't fall out of my ears when I was messing around in the garden and doing some hula hooping and all that kind of stuff. I guess if you were doing uh, a bit more strenuous stuff, then maybe it's a possibility. But for me, in this kind of configuration, they're really, really comfortable. And I did have to find actually, or did find rather, that you do have to kind of really twist them into your ear to get the best sound. Um, and when you do put them right into your ear properly, the six mil driver, which is inside these little things, actually does really crank out the volume and also the bass. Some of the tracks that I've been listening to whilst testing this out, actually have really surprised me how much bass you can get out of such a small earpiece it is actually uh, quite incredible. In actual fact, I was listening to a few tracks in the uh, in the kitchen just now before we came in to record this piece, and I was getting the whole goosebumps thing on my arm with some of the music. And, and it's not often that music can kind of um, emote you or portray or give you that kind of feeling where it just rise, makes the hairs rise on your arm and on the back of your neck. It really was a, a, a great feeling. So the Creative Labs have done a really good job with this and they've made them into a fantastic piece of kit. Now, other little things I've noticed actually, whilst uh, sort of having a play with them, that the transfer of files is super, super easy. Just plug in the uh, micro USB and just drag and drop your files in Windows or on a Mac. Uh, you can put them in sort of bare, just the bare MP3 files, or you can put folders in um, and it will find all that stuff for you. And another nice feature is once you actually open the app, if you want to use it with the uh, kind of the stuff you've downloaded and put on yourself, if you open the app, it shows you all the stuff that you've got installed and you've got a list you can scroll through so you can have a little bit more control than what you would with just using the kind of like the control panel there. So that's another really nice feature. So it effectively turns it into like an iPod kind of thing, which again, for the, for the money they're asking and for the flexibility, you can have complete Bluetooth control or you can have partial control and, or with the control panel. It's just great, it's a great thing. And little design things, which I don't know if they did it on purpose, but have actually worked out really well. When you've got this in your ear, so you've got it like that with the controls, the bottom button is the down button. 
or like the, the volume down button. So everything is actually where you'd expect it to be. So to answer a call, you just kind of, you touch the, uh, the circle button in the middle and it just feels like it's in the right place because it's like halfway down the strip. And to put the volume up, which you probably don't want to do accidentally because it could be a bit loud, they've put there. So it's, it's kind of in between the top. So you have actually got to feel it out so you don't accidentally deafen yourself. Little things like that, just I think is a, a really good idea. The volume down button actually there is brilliant. That is a great idea of being actually at the bottom. Maybe it's a fluke of luck from the designer or maybe they've intentionally done that. But for me, little things like that, especially when if you're sort of unfamiliar with the layout of the buttons, to have it in a kind of a logical or sensible place really is a good thing to do. So that pretty much wraps up my, uh, my thoughts on these. The sound quality is excellent. Um, they didn't fall out my ears. The control box and the actual extra control you've got in the app, both on Android and Apple, um, is great and no doubt with time as the app improves and there's firmware updates for this then more and more good things are going to happen but at the moment I'm, uh, I'm really pleased with these and uh, hopefully if you choose to get some yourself you will also be pleased so you can check out the links for these in the description below but in the meantime this has been the Creative Labs Outlier One Plus I've been Mike this is Mike's unboxing reviews and how to and we will catch you in the next video thanks for watching